Good afternoon and thank you for joining me again for another tutorial on Michelle Pehau Art. My name is Mickey and um, welcome back. So I get these canvases at um, Kmart. They're pretty pretty cheap. This one I think was eight or ten dollars, and this one here, which is a twelve by sixteen inch, was about twelve dollars. So um, they come with that wooden frame, and they come with screws to you just put it together in the back, screw it together in the back. So we're going to put one together today. So what I've got here is my canvas that I painted the other day. I haven't varnished it. I'm going to put some varnish on it after I put it in the um, frame, which is a little bit different, but that's what I'm going to do. You can see that gold in it. It's very pretty, this one. Um, don't remember what video this was. I think it was the last one I did, so if you would like to have a look at it. But this is quite, quite pretty. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is there's my wooden frame, got my screws, got my Phillips head screwdriver, and the first thing I'm going to do is get my tape off. So I've got all this tape on here so I could paint it. So um, bear with me. I'm going to get the hair dryer. We're going to melt the um, painter's tape a little bit to make it easy to peel off. Okay, all the tapes off. I only painted a little bit down the side. Doesn't matter about where it leaked here because it's going to be hidden in the wooden frame. So my painting goes this way. So I'm just going to put it down flat. Just going to get my stamp. Just going to give it a little bit of a stamp so I've just got my stamp on there okay let's get the wooden frame so what do I want so I think we'll just pop it in here so because you've got the you see that because you've got the gaps up here, I actually want them evenly spaced. So I've cut some pieces of card. I cut four pieces of card and I've cut them all the same size because when I sit them in here, I want it to be quite even. So um, what I do is I just fold them in half just some scrap cardboard, fold it in half again, and then one more time. So I do that with all four pieces. So fold in half, half again, and then one more time. And all I'm going to do is sit these in each of the sides. So I've got even 
even gaps. Put that one in there, and then this one down here. Get that one up a touch. Let me move that over. Okay, so to me that looks that looks all right. I'm just going to push them down just a bit. I'm going to turn it over. Okay. And we're just going to get the screws. These um, holes are pre pre drilled. And we're just going to I might start on the side. I'm just going to sit these in so I can screw them in. So I just like to do a little bit in each one first. Put the last screw in and then just screw them in. Okay, so that canvas is in now. Then I'm going to take these out. And I'll save them for next time I need spaces for another another painting. Okay, so there's my framed piece. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want to just stick a quick coat of varnish on here. So I'm going to get some more tape and all I'm going to do is tape up this wood and then I will show you the, the varnish I have. Okay, so my wood's taped up. So I just have a little cup, just a little varnish brush, which okay, so let's varnish. So I've got my little container here. So I've got this um Gloss, it's, it's this varnish that I've picked up at my local art store. It's Gamba Gloss. It's awesome stuff. You really don't need much at all. Um, so it's like water. <laughs> so you can actually put this on. It's great stuff. You can put it, put it on, and if you want a couple of years, say you want to touch up your painting, you, um, there's this solution that you get which will take off this varnish 
and you can touch up your painting and then you just put the um, gamba gloss back on so that's that's that if you want to have a look so I did do another painting with the gloss so this one's dry but if you can see the sheen on there this is the dry one okay so if you can see there's only a little bit in this container there's not much in there at all so let's just get any dust off here so i'm just going to pour a bit in the middle i can get the cat hair out just going to pour a little bit in the middle and then we're going to um probably don't need more than that this is so pretty look how it glides okay and we're just going to burnish it's not like your usual varnish so you gotta get really into that canvas and we'll touch more on and it says to just it's like you're just getting into the edges there scratching it in takes about oh by that this time tomorrow it'll be tacky and then the next day it'll be fully fully dry So easy to use. Probably need a bit more down here. We're just going to get in into this base here. And because it, the consistency is light water, it, it, it goes on and it settles nicely. Okay, so I think I've done all my edges. Okay, so I'm just going to start this end, just going up. So wh whatever's left on there, I'm just evenly spreading it, and then I'm just going to go across. Really brings out the the colour. And you really don't want this on thick because it will take too long to to dry. And that's it. That's that's done. So once this is dry, I'll take my tape off and that's ready to hang. So normally I wouldn't put the frame on if I was doing normal varnish, but this varnish is a bit different. So you see that? So pretty.
Okay. Love this varnish. And then it just washes out in um, soapy water from the brush and your container. Okay. So I bought that at my local craft store. It was about $35, $39. And there we go. That is done. And I still have quite a bit left in here, which I could probably do another painting, like cover another painting with it, with what's left. Or I just put it back in the container. Okay, so that's my new varnish. So it's Gamba Gloss from Gamblin. So get a hold of it. it. It lasts for ages. So I I resin some paintings, and then my other paintings I put this gloss varnish on. You don't have to get a gloss. It comes in the satin as well. Okay, so as you can see, it really brings out the um colors absolutely beautiful so when that dries um when that dries we'll be able to see all that gold gold in there so i'll show you the dry result when it's when it's done okay bit of fluff no okay let's do a bit of these edges Okay, and just lay lay it off and lay it off in the other direction as well. Yep. And like I said, this will be tacky after 24 hours and you only really don't, don't go heavy handed on it, you only need a light coat. Okay, so that's another one that's done. So to use this, it's as simple as that. Beautiful. Okay, so with the leftover, I'm just going to pour back into my container. Put the lid on. Put that away. And then I'm just going to get the excess, the paper towel, off my 
brush. Give this a wipe out. And I'm just going to wash that out with um with soapy water. Okay. So I'll take that upstairs and do that. Hi, welcome back. I um, bought this not that long ago, probably about two weeks ago on um, Amazon. So what it is, is for, I think it cost me about $50 Australian. So I've got my, it came with all these accessories. It's a turntable. And when it spins, it's not making that noise that my other, that my plastic one makes. It's quite, quite sturdy. And you get um, all this came with it as well. So I've got my palette, palette knives. I've got another one of these. I've got my silicon um, scraper. And then I've got these. These are good for like when you're working with texture. And I was going to put it in my cake decorating cupboard, but then I decided, you know what, I can use these for um, when I'm when I'm using mold. They come with it. Okay, so this is they don't they're not blue. They actually come with a protective seal on them. So we just you just peel them that off. Both sides. So you just pull the protective coatings off, but this is good for when you're doing um, 3D paintings. You just push that across the plaster or your thick paint and it leaves the grooves. So I've got three of those and I thought this was a pretty good um, buy. So um, yeah, so regarding the um, Gamlin, is it? Yeah, Gamlin um, Ganva Gloss. That's what I use to varnish. So any questions that you have, um, just leave a comment below and I will see you soon again for another um, call. See you later.